How to create a journal using Canva templates to sell on Amazon KDP, step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you step by step how you can create your own gorgeous looking journal so you can sell it on Amazon KDP. So let's get into it. Now this is just a sample journal that I have searched over here on Amazon. If you search for wellness journals, this is a journal created by a user using Amazon KDP. And this is like a basic framework that you can go off of or you can even customize however you want to create your own journal. So let's get into it. Now to get started, first off, you need to go into the KDP cover calculator. So this is Amazon's cover calculator. And whenever you're creating the front page of your journal, so this page over here, because you want this to be a printable journal, this is going to be paperback or hardcover, then you need to make sure that you go into the KDP cover calculator and input the basic information. So first off, we want this to be a paperback journal, and then you're going to choose the interior we want it to be um, standard color and then we're going to add our paper type then we're going to add our direction so it's going to be left to right and then we want our measurements to be in inches and then you're going to add the interior trim size so the trim size is what size do you want your journal to be so for a standard size you can go with six by nine you can go with any measurement you want however you want to want to get this printed you can add that then you will add the pages that you want so the number of pages means the uh, pages all in between not the front page or the last page so just subtract that so let's say i want to add 50 or 60 pages so let's say I have 60 pages, then I will simply click on calculate dimensions and this will give me all the dimensions. Now, from here, you will click on download template over here and this will download the template for you and you can just open this up and it will extract a zip file. Now we will get to that later, but first you need to go into Canva now and from Canva, you will simply click on custom size over here. From this, you will calculate it in inches, so you will convert this from pixels to inches over here, and then you will input the information from over here. So the width that you want is going to be, for the full cover, is going to be 12 inches and 0.385, so we will input this width into Canva, and I will just paste that over here. And then you will copy the height as well. So a lot of people wonder why are we adding these point values? Well, these are actually to calculate for these sections over here. So this section is going to account for the spine and this section is going to account for any of the cutting that happens. So that is to make sure that your print or your cover goes around your entire journal. Now you will simply click on create new design. And just like that, the new design will be opened. From here, you will click on your uploads over here and you can click on upload files. You will go into your downloads and the template that you just downloaded, you're supposed to open that PNG. And once you've opened that PNG, you're going to place it right at one corner and then expand it to fit your frame. And it should fit your frame perfectly if you uh, input the values from over here correctly. Once you've done that, you will go into the transparency on the top right over here and make it somewhat transparent, mostly transparent. Now from here, you can just click on the lock on the top right and you can begin designing your book cover. So you can just go into the template section, you can choose a template or you can just go on ahead. Uh, you can go into the search template section so you can search for things like book covers or other elements as well, but you can even go into the element section and simply search for background. And then you can choose any kind of background that you want. Let's say I want to use this one so I can open this up and expand it. You have quite a bunch of different options that you can choose from. Make sure it is a still image and not a actual uh, graphic. So you just want to choose any kind of still image you want. You have quite a large option to pick from and you can choose any kind of niche that you want as well. Let's say I'm just going to continue on with a simple template like this one and I will expand it. Now, once I've placed my basic book cover, I will also make this semi-transparent so I can better see how I want to formulate everything. Now, if you want to take a design from an entire template, you can simply go back into Canva and search for journal over here. And this will give you some other journal ideas. However, this is not going to be journal covers. So if you want to get a journal cover... 
So for that, you will have to search for journal book covers, and these will usually be in a portrait form, so that is why I don't recommend those, but if you do want to do that, you can simply open up the book cover that you like. So if you like this one, just open that up, do a left click and copy the entire thing, and then just do click on copy over here, move back to the actual book cover that you are designing, and remove the background if you don't want that, and then simply click on command V. So you can see all the elements will be pasted together and then you can formulate it or size it according to your journal size. So I will just place it like so, so it fits better. And just like that, I have copied from a template. Now I can remove the background that I initially added and you can also just go on ahead and, you know, begin customizing the look of it so you can add something that fits better with the rest of your theme. So I will just click on send to back. And I will make this semi-transparent. I will click on edit image, so on and so forth. So you can see just like that, you have added your little template section as well. And in your template, you're just going to edit the text. So let's say I want to create a gratitude journal. I will just enter that. I will remove any kind of extra text. And once you've done that, you will simply have your book cover ready. You can also add a uh, little section for people to write their names on, but this is how you design your book cover. If you want to put anything on the spine, you can do that. If you want to design the back page, you can see the areas designated for everything, and you can go into the element section and search for more elements that you would like to add. So let's say I want to add a, you know, a little floral floral decor on the back so I can add that over here like so and just like that you're going to design your book cover this is the book cover now to generate the rest of your journal all you have to do is go back into canva and this is a six by nine inch so you can just open up a six by nine inch cover and this is for your internal pages for the external pages you're going to use those measurements for the internal pages just enter the size that you entered over here and you will just do that that. You will click on create new design over here. If you're doing A4, it's going to be pretty simple for you. But even if you're not doing A4, now you can go into the template section and you can just search for journal over here and you can click on journal page. If you want a simple page, you can add a simple page like this. There are a bunch of different templates like these. You can add a more creative page. So you can add something like uh, weekdays or diet routine, anything like that. So let's say we want to create this kind of section where it's like, uh, you know, this is obviously different, but you can change the text too. So you can enter any kind of pages, you can design them, you can customize them however you want, and you can just click on duplicate page to make multiple versions of the same page, so on and so forth, and then your journal will be completed. So that is how simple and easy it is. Once you have created all the pages, you are supposed to create the number of pages that you input over here in your page count, your KDP journal will be ready, and you can upload the PDF files into your Amazon KDP. To get the PDF files, all you have have to do is click on share on the top right over here click on download and change the file type to pdf print and then click on download and upload those on amazon kdp so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own journals to sell on amazon kdp using canva templates make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video